gotta move my stuff around again. Hello. Ooh. Into existence, you're here this time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you made it. Man, I'm so bummed I don't know why my chat still doesn't work on OBS. Hello everyone. It's me, Calco Pascal, streaming to you live from the Float Harbor Aquarium. Welcome, welcome. How's everyone doing today? Still moving stuff here. There we go. We got quite a few things to talk about today. Oops. I also have to remember what in the world we're doing here. And then last week there was no stream because I was driving from Float Harbor to Los Angeles for Anime Expo and some other things that I can maybe talk about. Oh my god, it's actually a little warm in here. Uh, maybe when the sun goes down a little. <laughs> um, maybe not quite just yet, but I can at least say, um, I left a little bit earlier than intended for my trip, because I was gonna do an interview for something. corn uh the interview actually I think it went pretty okay what it's locked well oh, look at him go He's got a surprise. I was hungry, as usual, so I did something about it. I went, so I went outside the boat and gathered some berries, but I went a little overboard. I have too much. Here you go. Have a wonderful day. Wow, berries. For free? And the last thing I remember we were doing here was just gathering stuff. Oh, because we need to upgrade to break the ice. Uh, and let's see. I guess we can go around this way. Or go down. This place doesn't have anything. Let's do... One... Two, uh, three, four. Oh no, I can only do three. Okay. And confirm. Mm hmm. But uh, yeah, so since I wasn't able to stream last week, the a video went up instead. So I hope. You guys are able to watch it, but if not, I put up my very first vlog uh, from my trip to Chicago. 
because I went to Chicago for the first time last year. And when I was there, I was like, oh, I want to film some footage and stuff to make a vlog out of it. Because I've always wanted to make a vlog, but, you know, just never had any content to make for vlogs. <laughs> but I, I particularly like watching travel vlogs and like food vlogs, personally. So I wanted to make my own. So that's on the channel. If you haven't watched it, you can go take a look, maybe after the stream. Hungry. Let's see. Uh, I have some. I have popped corn. Something else, okay. Uh, we can have poached fruit. Yay. Again. Here comes the jellies. Oh, you liked it? I'm glad. I did put quite a bit of effort into it since it was my first one. But on the topic of vlogs also... Um, so I, I am gonna talk about Anime Expo today, but I am gonna save some details on things because I did uh, film some stuff while I was there for the sake of making another vlog. Oh no, into existence. It's okay. I'm just glad you're made it this time. You've you've missed so many streams. I also forgot to change the latency on the stream beforehand. Whoopsies. Yeah, so the, <laughs> the vlog, I had started working on it maybe a couple months after I had come back from the trip initially last year, and then I stopped working on it because I didn't have time. And then, you know, I kind of just had it sitting on my computer for a bit, and I almost would have finished it sooner, or um, there was that one week I didn't stream or put up a video at all. That would have been when I could have finished or tried finishing the video and uploading it, but I just didn't have the time to do so. So that week, no stream or a video happened. But actually that was kind of a good thing for me because then the stream or the vlog was able to go up this week or this past week. So even though I was away, I wasn't really away too much. Got a little, a little bit of calico in your day. Yeah, I had worked. Um, I had, I had been working on it on and off, and actually, I the night before I was supposed to leave for LA. I was working on the video from 11 p.m. until 6 in the morning. <laughs> Let's do some corn. But I'm pretty happy with the results for my first vlog. Like, even though I know I could have fixed up some things and uh, added a little more pizzazz, potentially. Uh, gotta jump off the boat. No! I think it still came together pretty good in the end.
Yeah, it was actually funny because I had gone, uh, so I did the, I worked on the video, then I went to sleep, woke up, packed for my trip, left, and then uh, got stuck in traffic, did the interview, then I went and had dinner with my friends. So Thursday was very long for me. <laughs> And it was such a busy day that by the time I got to the restaurant, my friend was actually watching the video because it premiered at 7. And I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot the, the video was even a, a thing. But they said they liked it, so that's good. I was exhausted. But yeah, it's always fun because now I feel like when I go places that I haven't been to before, or maybe I've been to like a lot of times, I think now about, oh, like, how can I make a good uh, little video clip out of this? Or can I make a video out of this? Yeah, busy, busy. Busy, busy, Cali P. Yeah, back from LA. Traveled far. And by travel far, I mean a couple hours. <laughs> but yeah, some, um, some channels that I, I watch who do like food and travel content are um, Tabby Eats. I like them a lot. They do a lot of videos about um, places in Japan and Hawaii and other places that they visit. But, you know, I, I, I enjoy sometimes just watching and seeing places through the eyes of another person. This game is uh, Spirit Fair. It's um, how would I describe it best? I guess kind of like Animal Crossing on a boat, <laughs> but um, a little more farming. So something like Harvest Moon, I suppose. I listen to the podcast or anything when I drive far. Um, what did I listen to on the way over? I think I was just listening to music. Sometimes I'll listen to um, a stream or something if it's happening, or if there's something that I need to catch up on. But not this time. This time it was just music. <laughs> no, I did not blast Clara's irony on the drive to LA. <laughs> oh, oh. You can do incredible things with a sawmill these days. You can even go on the internet. You can log in. <laughs> Welcome back to the shipyard, Stella. Tell me, what do you need? Oh, oops. Uh... Oh, we can... Oh, wait, no, we already did that. We don't have this. Can we do this yet? No, I'm a little bit... I'm just barely there. Need a little more glims. Oh, I still don't have any... Just don't have any iron or, or oak or linen. The fab... Well, we're almost there for linen. No spirit flowers or a slate. I don't know where to get those. So I think... We just have to keep running around for a little bit until I figure it out.
um, what I did listen to on the drive over. So there's there's this um, this music group that I found on YouTube like a long, long, long time ago, and then I kind of just forgot <laughs> about their music only because. I just hadn't like I've I've switched over like different music platforms uh, several times, so you know usually you just put whatever comes to mind first or whatever you last listened to. <clears throat> but I was reminded of this group because they released a new music video for one of their songs and I guess also a new album, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll add some of their music to my playlist. And so I've just been listening to that recently. They're called Cream. Like, capital C-R-E-A-M. And it's like... Japanese... Pop. Ooh, I don't have any more seeds! I'm thinking! What are you thinking? Oh, yeah. I don't have that either. I don't have pork chops. Hmm... Super band from the 70s? No, no. The Cream, I found them initially because they used to do cover songs of like Western pop music. And at the time, they did a, a pretty popular cover of, um, I think, a Justin Bieber song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but now they do original music, which is really great for them. Eh. Eh. Guess we can go here. Yeah, we can't travel until we figure out how to get more resources, which is a shame. So we'll just do this. Confirm. Making a transition to originals can be hard. Yeah. I think they're with an agency now. Which is how they're able to make originals. But I like their music. It feels very... Um, very summer. Perfect for the season. <laughs> A very float harbor core. <clears throat> By the way, before stream, I, I had just gotten home and I quickly ate a little something and <clears throat> hopped in the shower because I went to the gym. A valuable necklace? I don't think I've ever reeled in a necklace before. What was the workout today? It was legs. Good old leg day. Legs and some abs and some cardio. I'm kind of, um, since I was, whoops, no! Since I was away for a little bit and I hadn't worked out in a couple days, I just kind of wanted to warm up work back into it. That <laughs> sounds like EP. Cal EP. Yeah. Well, I'm only only EP because I just came back from the gym. But oh, I, I was supposed to have some juice, but I had protein powder instead. Protein powder um, and some shrimp. Not together, just <laughs> as two separate things. Yeah, 
Yeah, you, uh, before Anime Expo, I had worked myself up to being able to do like 30 minutes on the Stairmaster, and today I was like, I can't, I can barely do 15. Oh, he's hungry. He's hungry. Uh, I don't have pork chops, but you can have fish curry. <laughs> Protein powder and shrimp? That works the same as panko. Oh, you know, I bet you can make like a protein powder covered shrimp tempura. Sounds pretty good. It's like using um, pea protein, pea protein flakes, and then an egg wash on the shrimp and deep fry. Ooh. And then, um... Well, they grow fast. Oh. Get out of here. And then... Let's see... Um... Yeah, so... So Thursday... Was... Finishing up the vlog in the morning, going to sleep, packing, driving to LA from Float Harbor, doing the interview, having dinner, and then getting to my hotel <laughs> with my friends. <laughs> and by that point, I was pooped. <clears throat> Even more EP. Protein powder shrimp tempura sounds like a Breath of the Wild recipe. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, I do not recommend, but if you do try it, let me know how it works out. Intuitively <laughs> protein filled. I sure hope so. Oh, speaking of food, um, Anime Expo. Because I was. So that my anime expo trip was a workcation for me. I was working there, but also there to have fun and like meet people and hang out. But just out of sake of convenience, you know, I, you can only grab so much food. You don't have much choices if you don't want to deal with driving around everywhere and paying for parking and all of that. So I had a lot of bread. <laughs> bread was kind of like my breakfast every morning from the bakery. So it was really yummy, very delicious, and I probably would not have survived without that bread. But I just kept thinking like, oh my god, carbs, carbs, carbs. And then when I could, I tried to eat as much protein as I potentially could. Yeah, exactly. My anime expo meals were Pocky and Cheez Its mostly. Yeah, just a lot of snacks and bread and things that are easy to eat and quick. Um, except for dinner. Dinner, we kind of went all out. Oh, can't do anything here yet. They weren't allowing outside food. Um, I don't know about that. I brought in food in the morning because since we weren't able to leave our our workplace um, in the expo, we brought we would buy our breakfast in the morning as well as our lunch to eat. Some people we had staying with us went through like 14, 14 cups of noodles in four days. That's a lot. That's too much sodium. I mean, even I... I love noodles, but four, 14 cups is a lot. Crowds, um... Crowds were about as busy as you can imagine that they were. Um, but I mean, luckily for me, because I was working there, I kind of had like a... I had like a little pass to skip a lot of the lines, but 
even with the past, sometimes there were still lines for the people working there, which doesn't really make any sense. You would think they'd have streamlined this a little bit better. But it did not work. Hmm, we need... I guess some of the turnips. I don't know how many should I buy. Uh, ten? I think we have some carrots left, but I'll buy some more anyways. Hmm. I think we have used still limestone. Darn. I have to check my inventory. I don't remember what I have. Maple, yeah. I don't need maple. I need... Didn't I buy this key already? Hold on. What do I have? Oh, let's open this. Need some glims. I have a necklace. Should be sold. Um. Oh, I don't have the hummingbird key. I'm surprised I didn't buy it yet. Mm, let's see. General attendees, yeah. That's good. I'm glad you're able to bring it in. So much salt. Yeah, I I went through a phase in college where I ate nothing but instant noodles, and that was so bad <laughs> for me. But I was so lazy. I just didn't want to cook. So it was like instant noodles with one egg or two eggs if I was hungry. Uh, but I don't recommend doing that. You bring in food, just not full meals. Yeah, I think most of the stuff that we brought in were like small prepackaged things or like made made fresh in the morning and then packaged in a little in a little tray and we also got food from the food trucks they had food trucks at anime expo um quality depends on what you were getting it was like eh to like okay <laughs> um and, kind of, and also kind of expensive this meals over the four days were Zanko chicken and KBBQ. Ooh, I actually did not. Yeah, I didn't get KBBQ this time around. Normally, I always get Korean barbecue during AX, but just not this time. But I, so we didn't have Korean barbecue, but we did have Korean food. Time I went to Anime Expo, I couldn't eat solid food, so if I wasn't allowed outside food, I probably would have passed out. Oh no, because of a tooth removal. That stinks. Oh, yeah, the, the food truck getting yakitori. Mm -hmm. I, I had the yakitori. No, not yakitori. I had yakisoba. I had yakisoba on the uh, fourth day, I believe. The fourth or third day of Anime Expo. That was pretty good. Because it came with a, a potato croquette. Can only stop by for a second tonight. But hello, hey, what's up? It's okay. Yeah, we're just I'm just talking about my AX trip a little bit, but trying to save some details for a future anime expo vlog. Don't know when that will actually come out though, because I haven't I have all of the things I want to do for it. Mostly, not including like all the drawings and stuff that I have to do. So who knows when that'll come out? It's gonna It's gonna take us a while, considering how long the Chicago vlog took to edit. It'll be some time, so maybe by the time it comes out, you'll all forget everything that I've said here, and then you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that. Westside Bonnie slaps in terms of the food trucks. I was thinking about it, but I ended up not getting it, because I, I chose the yakisoba instead. My friend said it was alright. <laughs> Yeah, the price was decent for like how big it was. I was surprised. This whole conversation is killing me because I'm starving. I'll put you on while I cook. Yeah, if there's one thing that I can talk about for a long time, it's definitely food. Yeah, you can get an editor for some of the workload. Ha ha ha. Not a bad idea. We actually... I do have... Not officially... Um, we kind of have an editor working on a little something for the channel. Don't know when it'll be done or when it'll come out. But uh, my my little brother, PJ, PJ Pascal, 
it's working on a channel trailer. Ugh, for me! Yeah, PJ is... <laughs> PJ's got a... has an eye for editing, so... That's their little project from me. Okay, so we have a key. What do I do with this key? Key opens a door next to the broken ladder in Hummingbird. Okay, where's a... It's not this one, right? Okay, jump. Is this? Oh no, it's that one. Oh! Oh, there we go. Whoa. Okay. There's our son- What? Where am I? Oh, I can't move. Wait, where am I? Oh no. Ah! Whoa. Is there secrets? Oh, okay. Where? Whoa. Okay, I- Oh, there we go. What is this? What do we get? A ceramic figurine. Don't mind us just casually breaking into people's houses. <clears throat> Can't wait to see it. Well, again, don't know when it'll come out. What the hell? You unlocked the door downstairs. Now anyone can come up here. I don't want these downstairs jerks up here. Sorry. What else? Uh, what is this? Very delicate figurine. Mm. Oh, okay, let's see. A lot of coffee beans. Oh, I'm running out of linen. Should buy some more linen seeds. Um, and we have some quartz and limestone. Copper. Mm, fabric, which we need to make more of. We need more linen. Okay. Linen seeds, please. I also ate... Um, so, actually, I I have a... from my other job, my other part-time job, I have someone who comes in who I talk to regularly. They're a regular there. And they always like bringing me little snacks and treats and stuff. Just because they're they're a very kind soul. <laughs> and they know that I, I love I love a little snacky. Who doesn't like free snacks? And when I told him that I was going to Anime Expo, he was like, Oh take the snacks with you. Take the protein bars with you. <laughs> it'll it'll come in handy. So I did. I did take a couple protein bars from from work. I brought it with me to the expo. I also had um, very sweet of my friend who came by and brought me a little snack pack. I was like, oh, so thoughtful. The the high they had like the little um what do they call it the it's like the those drink mixes that are the electrolyte drink mixes they packed one of those on the little like snack pack yeah they were um like a like like I guess like a nut cluster. Protein bar with chocolate and sea salt. So good. And then they had also packed some like fruit gummies and some um like little cracker sandwiches with peanut butter. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was it's kind of funny because I had um, I had some of my my coworkers from my part time come visit me at Anime Expo, and my friends at the at the booth were like, Calico, how come 
all your friends are so buff. <laughs> All my workout buddies. Oh, you're so hungry? Uh oh. Ah. What is happening? No. Okay, here we go. Sorry, something popped up. Yeah, the Swole Parade came in to say hi. Exactly. Hmm. Let me see. Um. Okay, so we bought our stuff. Okay, I guess we can start moving. Oh, I do... Can I stop here? I think I can. Let's go around like this, maybe. Get sell that necklace and get some good glims. And speaking of Soul Parade, um, I don't know if you saw my tweet, but Domo Arigatang stopped by <laughs> and said, hey. And I, I guess for context, um, Domo is, he's a VTuber interviewer. He does interviews with VTubers every once in a while, and he's... Pretty... Wow, whoa, no, 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 no. Wait, stop! Nope. Don't get on the boat. Please just stand on the rock. There we go. Let's see, sell this. And this. And this. I don't know if I'm allowed to sell this. Get rid of this. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe I should just buy these. Maybe we'll get what I need out of this. Oh, we got errands? Is that new errands for me? I could just- oh, we get some maple syrup. Ooh. Need to catch a squid and a sockeye salmon. You got it, boss. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, right, so Domo. Domo came by, and last year at Anime Expo when I went, that was my first time meeting Domo in person, and, um, uh, I've watched Domo stream before, like, not, not, what, like, not, not just his interviews, but just in general. Oh, uh, can we not stop here? No! We're just, okay, too late, missed the bus stop. I don't even know what the bus stop will do. But sometimes Domo just streams like just to chat. He had no spirited away train for me. Ugh. So sometimes Domo just does just chatting streams just to chat with his audience and his in the community, see what's up. And sometimes in the streams he'll talk about like Oh, how he's, he's gonna go to work out like after the stream, or oh, I need to work out, blah blah blah. And uh, at the time, I was also just getting back or like working out more consistently. I think it had been about, if we're talking about last year, then yeah, it's it had been about a year since I started working out consistently. And so sometimes Zoma would be like, oh, I don't know, I'm kind of tired, like maybe I don't want to go to the gym, and I would just type in like. Yes, you want to go to the gym. I promise you, you want to go to the gym. And then he's like, yeah, I do want to go to the gym. So <laughs> uh, when when I met him in person, I I showed him um, 
this fan art I had drawn for him like a long time ago, like maybe in 2020, what, like end of 2020 or 2021. And I was like, do you remember this? And he, he was like, yeah, I do, actually. And I was like, oh, that's that was me. And um, I was like, oh, and weird requests for a, a picture. Like, are you cool with taking a picture? And he was like, oh, yeah, sure. Like, what is it? And I was like, can we flex <laughs> for our photo? And he was like, oh, okay. Yeah, like he was 100% down. So that's how the first one happened. And then I, I didn't know he had a... He had a meetup um, on day three of Anime Expo, but I didn't see it, and also I, I wouldn't have been able to go anyways because I was working. So I, I had messaged him like, "Oh man, like I, sorry, I, I couldn't come over. I would have loved to have done another uh, photo with you. Sorry, I'm like blinking a lot because the sun's in my eyes. It's the sun is setting in Float Harbor. I can't see." But, yeah, so I, I had messaged him saying, oh, I, I can't, uh, bummed, I can't do, like, another, uh, photo with you. And he, he was like, oh, I'll just come around and come see you wherever you're at. And so he came by with, um, another VTuber named Ski, and Ski took the photo for us. <laughs> so, um, thinking for the vlog, I'll show, like, the, the uncensored version of that. Because, you know, I covered up my face, but for the vlog, for content, un uncensored Cali P face reveal. <laughs> and then, um, Big Ham came by. Big Ham came and visited me. And the rumors are definitely true, by the way. Big Ham is indeed a big hamster. I can confirm. You heard it here first. Hmm. Um, okay. Well... Oh, okay. Gotta get out the boat. And get the materials. <laughs> How was it seeing a giant hamster roaming the halls of the LA Convention Center? Um, well, it made Big Ham easy to spot, that's for sure. I still don't know what this is. Oh, why can't I get anything from this? Wow, berries! No, you love it. You love good old berries. Hmm. Yeah, it was nice to, to chat and catch up with Big Ham. And then, um, I actually found out today, uh, another VTuber had stopped by where I was working, and I totally missed them coming by. <laughs> Uh, but that's okay. I'm just glad they they came by the booth at all. That's very cool. Uh, oh, wait. How do I do this again? Oh, there we go. What? Oh, hold X as long as possible. Yep. More limestone, huh? Probably difficult recognizing VTubers, especially if they're silent. Yeah, well, I guess it was, I, I didn't- first of all, I didn't even know that they were there. And then secondly, I'm sure if they didn't announce that they were going, they probably just didn't want to say that they were there, you know? Which is fine. I was just dreaming about these. The berries! You just love berries, you can't help it. Pockets are full of berries. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's good to respect everybody's privacy. Okay. Oh, 
Quillen on. Let's see. Oh, he actually came over here. He followed us. Um... I wonder if there's something I'm missing. Hmm... Here. Oh, oops. Okay, well, we'll just do one then. First stop. Oh, and then, speaking of VTubers, I also got to go to the Hololive concert. Hololive English Connect the World concert at the YouTube Theater. I went with um, a good friend of mine, my best friend actually, to be very clear, one of my best friends. And um, yeah, I, I knew there were other people that went to the concert as well, but I think we just, everybody was just there for the concert and I, I didn't really stick around before or after to like talk to people. Just went for the concert itself mostly. It was a lot of fun. It was cool to see like everybody with their Hololive merch or their cosplays. There's a lot of cute cosplays for sure. And then the concert itself, it was shorter than I thought it was gonna be, but it was still a lot of fun. What? I have a lot of pictures from the concert that I'll share on the vlog. What? Like that. Okay. Oh. Wait, I just realized I haven't set the catch whatever this is first. Please be a squid. Or a sockeye salmon. Mm. It's a soul. Which is not what I need, but... I won't complain. You think they used one of those big studio rooms for the Hololive concert? Mmm. I'm not sure what you're talking about. They were definitely there on stage. And there's no need for a studio space. <laughs> it was a live concert. more fabric. So let's do that. Where it's up here. Whoa, you can put 50 in here? That's a lot. Time to loom. Maybe it doesn't bother you guys too much, but I'm gonna have to figure out what's <laughs> why my OBS won't show chat on screen. No, making 
why I have so much... I have so much thread. Let's do, uh, how about... Uh, 25? Oh, okay, 26. Could dedicate a day to figure it out sometime if you wanted. Yeah, maybe. I should just make, like, a, a test room and figure it out myself. <laughs> Let's see, um, I'm trying to think what else happened during yeah, the expo. Yeah, I, was, I mean, since I was working the whole time, pretty much, I, I only got to walk around uh, Artist Alley, like, <laughs> one day out of the four. And I didn't go see any panels or any, uh, any other, like, shows or s anything like that. You just work in and then went around Exhibit Hall, Artist Alley, mostly just to see people. And then, you know, I'll of course show my Anime Expo haul in the video. Got a lot of cool stuff. But I will say, I did get a couple of stickers, some charms, and um, I would say the, the biggest things that I got were like apparel. Because there was a lot of stuff that I wanted. <laughs> so, my, my wallet may have nothing but fish bones in it now, but, <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not often I'm ever out in LA for that long, or get to see friends and stuff. Uh, linen, please. Oops, okay, linen and corn. Treating yourself is good, humu humu. Agreed. Actually, hold on. Give me a second. I'm gonna open... Oh, what? Okay, well first, I'm gonna jump off the boat. Wee -wee -wee -wee. No, I'm gonna open a window in here. A little warm. I shouldn't be sweating after a shower. I didn't think it was gonna get this hot. Much better. Ah. Turn on the light. It's starting to get dark. <laughs> Sweating after a shower. Big summer mood. Yeah. Feels gross. <laughs> But thankfully it's not like, it's not to the point where, you know, the sun's setting, but it's so hot, it actually feels nice and cool. Mm, nothing else, I'm thinking. Yes, I know you want pork chops. I don't have any pork chops. Where is she? She left. Where's where's my dear? My dear friend, my dear. The door was locked and now she's not here. She just up and disappeared. Wait, where's our Hold on, I think it's is it No, not this one. This one? Oh there we go. Find Gwen's whereabouts. Where's Gwen? I can't find her on the boat. <laughs> How long has she been has she been gone? And I've just been like, we gotta go 
Get some stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gwen. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know where she went, but... Yeah. Let's make our way around here. Oh, you know what? Let's go through the storm so we can get some thunder. Stop by to get some berries. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh no, now they're like, where is she? Where's Gwen? Oh, you're hungry again? And you get hungry quick. Uh, I don't- oh, I guess you can have this. Some soul nourishing grain salad, a favorite of mine, to be sure. Oh, yay. And how come you're only slightly happy? Oh, where'd my- where'd my frog uncle go? Oh, yes. Thunder time! Oh yeah, opening the window was such a good idea. It's nice and cool now. There we go. Oops. Oh no! Daffodil, no! enough glass bottles. What? Mm. Oh. Here we go. Nice. No! Oops. Uh. Gotcha. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, boy. What? Oh. No, go down. Mm. Ah. Poor daffodil. Gwen isn't here. Yes, I, I realize that now. Maybe she went to an island somewhere. Where? I do not know. Does she know any place in this world? We're heading there. We will find her. My sweet, sweet dear. Hmm. I'm trying to think, what else? What else can I talk about from Anime Expo? Giving away too many details. Mm. Oh, hello, GTG. You made it. I was just giving a very brief, very, very brief summary of some of the things that happened at AX. Like, um, only getting to visit Artist Alley one time out of the former days. It's because there was too many people. I mean, the, you like the photo with Domo on Twitter. <laughs> I'm glad, thank you. Hopefully it, this can be a reoccurring thing and my arms get bigger every time. <laughs> Crossing my fingers to have a solid, solid abs next year. You got a surprise! It's hungry. Oh, more berries? Yay! He just can't help it. He loves those berries!
Rain really ruins a day, doesn't it? Oh, I like the rain. Mm. Okay, I won't I won't talk about like everything that I grabbed from Anime Expo, uh, because I want to save that for the video. But um one of the things I did get so I don't know if any of you are familiar with um Lilium's. Lilium's on Twitter. She's an artist, she does a lot of very cute merch of her her little rabbit OC um bun. I think that's his that's his name. As well as like other little characters. There's like a, a tiger. Her booth looks so cute and decked out. Yeah, it was. It was very it was very cute and yellow. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> but um, I've been following for for some time, and then I saw that she made sea otter merch, and I was like, okay, I a hundred percent, I have to get like every single sea otter thing that she's got. <laughs> she was so sweet. She was very nice. The the flu or the flu the flow of her booth was very impressive. I was like, whoa, that's really cool. Like, you know, that's not something you really think about too much, but it seems very efficient. I mean, I, I was very lucky that I didn't have to wait in line to purchase things from her booth uh, because I was able to go early in the morning before the hall opened since I was working there. But it. The way that she had organized it was like the line could wrap around the booth and then it kind of like you snake your way through the inside and as you're going through the line there's like different little stands of um, the merch that's available and then you just pick up the stuff and that line just goes towards the register so very efficient very very um, smart thinking, and so yeah, I bought any any of the sea otter merch that you've seen that she's posted. I ended up buying like one of each thing. <laughs> how, how could I not? Oh, there you are. Hello. Let's take a seat. Just kidding. Get up. We can't sit. We have to talk. We must talk. All right, I'm ready for some, some drama, some tea. Hit and hit me with the feels, Gwen. Stella, I, I'm sorry. Sorry, I even considered doing this. Ending your days in your family house is so cliche to boot. I can't explain myself either. I just wanted to finish it off, you know. To decide on my own terms how I'd go, and not let myself be taken away. I've been weak. I'm sorry. Oh, the irony. Crap, I feel so selfish now. Sometimes I wish I could have been like you. But rarely. Ah, crap. Hug me now! Hug! Oh. Thank you so much. I needed that. You always pull through. Oh, look at how happy she is. Oh my gosh, there's so many. What's the quest now? Talk to Gwen on your boat. Okay. To the boat. Hmm. Look, this will come as a shock, but I'm ready to leave. <gasps> You're leaving? I just can't fight it anymore. But it's okay. I know you're with me. Bring me to the Everdoor, where you met Sharon. I'm ready. I think. Ooh. How do we even go there. Is that back here? Oh yeah. 
That is far. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to travel very, very far. Okay, every door. Set waypoint. Travel! Here we go. We're getting the lore of a progressing story! Ooh! So I will miss Gwen. Someone finally referenced the fact that they were dead. Well, I, I'm pretty sure they knew that they that they're dead. This is the spirit realm, after all. Yeah, let's see if we can catch anything in this rain. Besides a cold. Storms. Ooh, and we got. We got. Uh. An eel! Ooh, I don't think we've caught an eel before. This would be the first. Oh, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. It's happening. A lightning storm, yes. Okay. Here we go. No. I'm gonna get up fast. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh no! Ah! Uh. Oh yeah, I'm also not a big... I'm not very big on drinking. But I'll drink sometimes, I'll drink... I'm a, I'm a social drinker, but I also don't need like a lot of drinks to make me feel anything. I'm pretty light feet. So, since this was a little somewhat vacation, I did end up drinking a bit. <laughs> More than I intended. I originally wasn't- oh my god, I'm missing so many lightning. No! Oh no! I am missing so much lightning. Oh my gosh. Ah! I- okay. <laughs> tea for the win. Did I have- oh yeah, I did have tea. But that was kind of like pouring myself a little in a cup um, behind the booth. <laughs> Dizzy on the Cali P boat. <laughs> yeah, I don't need too much, too much drinks. I had. Um, let me see. Pretty sure I had soju. And I also had some Korean rice wine, rice wine, on the last night. Or no, not the last. Yeah, yeah, on the last day, but not. This was like after Anime Expo had ended, so after I left LA, I had a little celebratory post AX dinner. I had some drinks then. Um, I came back to- I did have tea. I thought it was just me kind. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Damn. Wait, what's happening? Are we just stuck? Oh no, it's, it's sleepy times. My bad. And then... Oh, I did ha so there was one dinner that I went to where I thought about having a drink, but then I ended up having just a mocktail instead, which was very good. I like mocktails. If a place offers mocktails, I'll have that over like a cocktail, but 
not a lot of places do mocktails. They just do, like, soda and juice or drinks. Are you in the booth like you're drinking whiskey backstage in drama class? Uh, I mean... <laughs> nah. <laughs> we didn't have any sort of, like, backstage area. It was just the booth, like, for the, the front. The front of the booth where you buy stuff and then the place with all of our stuff in the back with our drinks. Not hidden away or anything, so... If I was ever eating or drinking back there, you would just see me standing behind the register. <laughs> yeah, mocktails are very nice. I wish more places did them. Oh, how about some more linen? <laughs> hmm. Did I have boba at all? I don't think I did. Uh, yeah, I don't think I had boba at all this time around either. Though I did have, um, there's a, there was a cafe that was nearby our hotel, which is kind of like where we went to grab our breakfast and our lunch every morning. And one of the days I did have a little special drink. It was like a, it was persimmon milk. <laughs> you guys like persimmons? Or specifically, it was persimmon milk, but then I asked to substitute the the milk with, like, a milk substitute, because uh, regular milk can make my tummy hurt. Nope! <laughs> but it was still very good. Shoot. Really? Persimmons are... They're, um... How would I describe the taste of a persimmon? It's like... I guess the texture reminds me of... Like a tough peach. But the flavor is kind of cinnamony. Orange. Persimmons are orange. Oh shoot. The like the the flesh of the fruit is like a light orangey with some brownish speckles in it. Like taking a bite out of a leather couch. Yeah, sometimes if you're if you're if they're not they're not ready, they they can be kind of firm. You don't like persimmons, that's fair. But this this persimmon milk drink, like the I don't know how they got the persimmons to be so soft. It was like very very mushy in a good way. Like it was more like um almost like a not not pudding, but it was very, very soft and very easy to mix with the milk. Happen to love eating leather couches. Yeah, same. Type of sweetness kind of reminds me of papaya. I prefer more tart sweet, like a strawberry. Ah, I don't. I would. I guess yeah. Papaya is kind of a a good comparison point. Maybe depending on the papaya. Whoa. 
the sea turned red. I just couldn't explain it at first. Then it hit me. I'm starving. Oh, I thought this was some serious talk. <laughs> he scared me. Um, how about... I know you like a good coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, just kidding. You don't want coffee. Um... Popcorn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. You always take a popcorn. Comfort food always tastes good. Well, whenever you're done, I believe we're here. Um. Oh, is that what these things are for? They bring us to the... Door. Oh, there we go. Oh, sorry. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Here we are. I guess. I guess I've been waiting for that moment to arrive. Sooner or later. Will you accompany my friend? Accompany me, my friend? Thank you. Okay, where are we... Where are we gotta go on the, the boat. Okay. All aboard! Come on down. Oh. Stella, look. There's something I wanted to give you. I used to hide it in my old music box. I don't know why, but it always felt to me like it was the best hiding spot. Here it is. My old lighter. Dang, she gave us her lighter. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't thought about this old thing in a while. It barely works. I stole it off father when I was 12. Please use it to remember me. In the good times. In the bad times. They exist together. Intertwined. If there's one thing you learn from me, it should be that. Okay. Here we go. Her walk style is so... Yes! Queen. I mean, just look at her fur. She's got style. Seems I couldn't escape, doesn't it? Me being here now? You know me, I've never been one to dwell on the past. Mainly because it always felt overwhelming to me. Like an irresponsible wave of resentment. But even at this very moment, I still wonder. I don't know if I've ever tried to connect. The Kool-Aid River? Oh yeah! And I've been so sure of it. My opinion just never changed. You know what I've always said? That people come and go, but don't pay attention to each other. They never really did. That lives are only ever parallel? Adjacent, at best. Well, that's bullshit. I can see that now. And you're the proof of it. And not just you, but Mum cared as well. In her own way. And others here, even given the circumstances. I still don't know about Father. I should probably forgive him now. Find that last shred of strength left in me. Would that make me a better person? Would that make a difference? Maybe. But after all this... I don't think I care. And it doesn't matter. Because I had my best friend by my side. Mm -hmm. I had you! Oh. You are a wonderful person, Stella. My life would not have been the same without you. Mm -hmm. The light you showed me was more than a beacon. It was a guide. Only, I was too blind to see mm -hmm. it. My shades were too opaque. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go. I can't hold it any longer. Hmm. No. Thank you, Stella. Thank you for bringing me here, even if you didn't want to. Thank you for kicking my butt <laughs> and shaking my ego. Oh. 
Don't forget that I've loved you as much as I could. Goodbye, my friend. Mm -hmm. See you there. Mm? No. No! One last hug. Bye, Stella. Or bye, <laughs> no! <laughs> I, I first interrupted you when you told me your story, and now I just said my name instead of yours. I'm sorry, Gwen. No. Press E. <laughs> No, sh I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Whoa. Where are we? What is this? Butterfly? Oh, okay, whoa. Er... Wow. Okay, where am I going? What is this? Mm? <laughs> Bye, Stella. This is the- No! <laughs> okay. Can I make this? I can't jump high enough. Oh. What? Okay. Well, somehow. That happened. Mm. Yes, Daffodil. What'd you find? It's like, uh, a little dinner table. Oh! Nice. Going. Whoa. Hello. We finally meet. Face to face. For such a long time I have been watching you, Stella. Close, yet far. You kept your distance, but you knew I was there. Hidden in every shadow, skulking in every silence. Since the very beginning, I have been a part of you, even as my existence was but a foreign thought. And as your loved ones surrounded you with care and affection, I waited, silently. Your joy, your pride, your happiness, moments of laughter, of bliss, of friendship, gone. I know it feels just like yesterday, but the hourglass has turned, and, at last, you have found me. Go now. For I have not yet fully awoken. Resume your duties. Carry on your graceful dance. We'll meet again. Soon. It's 
spirit fair. Mmm. Ooh. What's this? Purple. Oh. Oh, flowers. A spirit flower. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Gwen. Oh, let me see. Eee. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. I haven't done this yet either. Uh, head over to Bottom Line Corp. Don't know where that is, I think. And we still haven't built her, her place yet. Maybe we'll get to it. Did you know that when I was booting up the game and opening the save file, it said we're only 8% through the game? <laughs> this game is so big! But I'm enjoying playing it a lot, and it's just been a good, like, chatting, calm chatting, uh, cozy chatting stream material. Yeah, 8%. Only 8%. It's wild. Oh, look at these flowers! This is cute. objectives again. Let's see where we can potentially go. Or rather, let's see. Summer Sanctuary. But yeah, we just need oak. And I don't know where to get oak. No oak yet. So... Mine Corp. Upgrades. And nothing else here. Hmm. There's a blueprint chest and a rare chest here. Oh. Can I just go here? I guess if it's not blocked off, I can. Okay. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, whatever. We're headed towards something. Oh, the boat feels so lonely. So lonely with one less person. Morning. Oh, and then, um... Ooh. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> stop watering the same spot. There we go. Mm. There's something about Anime Expo every year that I go, if I'm staying in a hotel room, I just cannot sleep. Like, I'll, I'll sleep, but then I'll wake up in the middle of my sleep before my alarm goes off. So, I end up getting like... six or less hours, <laughs> uh, depending on how, like, I guess, 
how anxious I am or if I feel any sort of adrenaline. And then only when I'm like super super tired will I like actually pass out. Yeah, so to anyone who might have potentially seen me and I looked dead, it was for good reason. I mean, not a good reason, but it was because I just- this otter could not sleep. I was dead. Yeah, was past tense. I'm doing okay now. I- I came home and then I- I, I, I literally did nothing yesterday. I was just so tired. I just laid in bed all day. Just resting. <laughs> There's a Ken and Laura explanation for your tiredness. Yeah, otters need a lot of sleep. If I don't have a lot of sleep, I can't really function very well. And if I seem okay, then that just means I'm doing a good job faking it. <laughs> Wait. Here we go. To the new zone. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. How else are you gonna eat 25% of your body weight per day? Exactly. Yeah, I would have gone to the gym yesterday if I wasn't so tired. But I, I knew for sure I needed like a rest day. It's a good old rest day from working all weekend. And even today I felt like um I, it wasn't too bad, but for some things I was just like, oh gosh, I'm way too tired. I'm still like getting used to. We're we're jumping back in on the grind, but. At a cost. What else? Uh, what else is new? So, I don't know if any of you guys are aware, uh, but there's a new social media out now by Instagram. It's called Threads. It's basically just a Twitter clone. But since you know the the Twitter landscape is like kind of unknown where its future is headed. I just went ahead and made a threads. Oops, I missed that fish. So I have a threads account as well. You can feel free to add me on there. I haven't posted anything yet on it though, just because I'm still here on Twitter. But, you know, the me grabbing my threads account was just more so to be on the safe side. Maybe eventually it will get some use. But for now, I'm st I think I'm still going to be mostly on Twitter. I think the most annoying thing about threads right now is that um, they don't have like a function like Twitter does that allows you to switch between your accounts easily. And so I, I hate having to log out and log back in. Because I have multiple accounts for like different things, different purposes. Oh, we made it. 
Your new field discovered. I literally found out about threads like less than an hour ago. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, a visitor. Welcome. Are you here for our world-renowned Furugawa tours? Of course you are. You're holding our brochure. The tour is about to start. It takes about five minutes and covers the history and flora of this island. After, you'll be able to tell all your friends about it. Except for Gwen. Don't worry. There's no gift shop after this tour. Ready? Perfect. Let's start right away. As you can see... This island doesn't get many visitors. People tend to focus on big city attractions. Here, it's peaceful and quiet. That's something you'll notice on the, that's something you'll notice with the fauna. Rice patches and a healthy forest are its main attraction. Moving on. Don't get too close. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, look at this big field. Over here. The rice production here is quite incredible. Workers harvest around the clock to feed local families. Right now, no one is around. I'm not sure why. I sometimes play in them when I am off duty. But that's besides the point. Off to our next stop. Lead the way. I'm giving a tour here. Whoa. You're walking kind of fast. Alright. You can feel the humidity. I mean, really feel it. This oak forest really gets to me. Finally, oak! We have a connection. A strange connection. I tend to skip this part of the tour, to be honest. If we could move along, that'd be great. What can I... Oh, we'll come back to this, I guess. Okay. I'm giving a tour here. Yes. You're walking very fast. Oh, look at this tree. Speaking of which, this fortune tree is the centerpiece of this whole island. I'm not sure when it was first planted. People from all around world, uh, oh, the people from all around would travel here and leave little messages. Anything to help with their lives. All right. This concludes our tour. That was so quick. Furugawa Tours is grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you again for your presence. If you'd like to leave a tip, that would be great. <laughs> that would be appreciated. I recommend something along the line of fifty glims. Sure. That's amazing. I knew I struck a chord with you. I'll sign you up to our upcoming <laughs> tours newsletter. You'll have an educational great time. Thank you for your kind spirit. Whoa, they're gone. <laughs> wow, berries. Oh, look at is that a is that just a oh no that's a I thought that was a bag on his back. It's a like a sheep or a llama. Oh, that's a sheep. How about these berries? These look incredible. I'm just dreaming about these. Take the berries. Whoa! Strawberries! Wow! New fruit! Oh. Okay, nothing down here. Time to cut down some oak. Hee <laughs> hee. Meh. I wonder if we'd be able to- ooh! Mushrooms. I wonder if we're gonna be able to, um, shear the sheep eventually. Even knowing a sh it's a sheep, it still looks like a bag. Okay, so I'm not crazy. It did look like a giant satchel of berries, did it not? Doesn't seem too out of character for our good old uncle, a tool. <laughs> I thought he got a ton of berries. Just can't help it. I'm surprised there's, like, nothing to harvest here. They assumed you could get some rice. Thank you for taking the tour! Don't forget to tell your friends! Okay. Thanks. Goodbye! Thanks for the strawberries, the mushroom, and the wood. Cause I need that. Alright. We only have 18 
So we gotta make this good. Oops. No. Okay. Whoa, okay. Whoa. This is getting complicated. Look at that. Ah! Looks like they're all in a little weavy motion this time. Yippee! Oh, that was pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna get better at this. First part that always gets me. Oop. Ah! Ah! That was not good. Here we go. Oh. Oh god, I'm getting so much sawdust. I'm trying. Oh, how? Ah. Ah. Oh, no. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> not the best, but not bad either. So let's see. I'm gonna water these. And then I've gotta check our materials list and see what we need for a summer sanctuary. And then actually, oh, I know it's- I'm not ending the stream yet anytime soon, but I would thought I should just say that for a future stream, um, we're gonna be playing a game demo of something. I have to figure out schedule-wise when I can do it, um, and also like, because it's a demo, I don't know how long it is. So maybe try to plan something else to go with it as well. Wow, look at all this stuff. Look at all this- look, new! New! I got so many things to look at. Let's try going- Ooh, 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 ooh. Here. Oops. Dang it, I always do that. I meant to make multiple little waypoints, but that's fine. Uh, a game demo stream that you can look forward to. Don't want to spoil too much. But it's uh, a game demo I heard about from Anime Expo. Through, um, through a, a friend of a friend. Yeah! Big things ahead for the future. A lot of surprises. So, as you can see, I am going to be a very busy otter <laughs> for the next couple of months. But you know, that's a good thing. I 
think I prefer being busy than having too much idle time. Even though I do enjoy a good lazy day. But it's just nice to have things to do and people to see. in the way. <clears throat> oh, I don't think I <laughs> talked about this at all, actually, but... Um, I know, I, I kind of did. I, I mentioned it briefly several times on stream. But... Um, I did manage to hit my my fitness goal for it before Anime Expo, for the most part. Not entirely, but like, you know, the fact that I even got there at all when I said like, this is where I want to be in two months, and I managed to do it, it just made me really happy. It just gave me the confidence that like, yeah, I, I can pretty much do anything if I just set my mind to it and put in the work. But the fact that it was like of of like very clear like physical challenge just makes me think like, oh man. The gains, man, the gains. You're just gonna keep going. They'll become stronger. <laughs> Stronger person, stronger otter every day. They were, they were on the way to getting um, solid abs to smash rocks and shellfish against. <laughs> yeah, need to up my strength. No more rocks, just rock-hard abs. You got it. Oh, wait. No, stop! Oh, I guess... okay. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have... Shouldn't have put such a big... Uh, waypoint. I should've just had it stop. But oh well, we'll come back. We'll come back to it. We've at least discovered it on our map. Are you hungry? Hungry again! How about some... real veggie? Only slightly happy? No! Tea seed, lettuce seed, and oak log. We can grow tea? That's exciting. And we gotta make some stuff with these strawberries, too. That probably means there's also new fish in this area, I'm going to assume. Oh, we have nothing to combine it with yet. Um. There's something else here? Oh, nope. Okay, moving on.
But yeah, that's why I, I was kind of pressuring myself a little bit at Anime Expo, because I had just hit my goal that I had worked so hard for, and then just <laughs> letting myself eat a bunch of carbs and drink and stuff. <clears throat> but again, I should just let myself be, because it's not often that I do that, you know? I should be allowed to treat myself too. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now that I'm back home, I just back on the grind, eating a lot of protein, eating clean, exercising three times a week at least. Sheep. Hello! Oh, hello there, young lady! How are you doing? Oh, yes, right! Perhaps you can help me! You must have stumbled upon a fluffy sheep on the loose down there. I tried getting it back in its enclosure, but the stubborn creature wouldn't listen to me. The chance is on your side, its weak spot is its gluttony. So it will definitely follow anyone who would feed it. Would you be a deer and give it a try? One sheep, two sheep. This is locked. There's a chest in there. Now where do I get the feed for the sheep? What is this? Oh! <gasps> Are we gonna start getting our, our iron and our ores and stuff? Ooh. We finally have made it. Electric coal. in the mines. Children yearn for the mines. Oh. Okay, we don't have whatever we need to get up here. Yet. things to gather. Pickles to my brain. Use that otter strength to break down the rock. Slate. Ooh, a chest? Apple seeds and opal. Right, keep going. Oops. Yes. You hold X as long as possible. I got it. More coal. And then did I? Miss something up here? No, oh, it's blocked off. Okay. Proud of you all. Thank you. Whoa. What is this? What is this? Look at a little table. We can sit. What happens if I just. Ooh, -hoo. okay. Need to figure out what the sheep wants to eat. Where do I get the sheep it's food? Hmm. Feed. Well. Uh. Do you do you like corn? Feed. Please eat this corn. 
How much corn do I have to feed this sheep? Oh, there we go. Um, where's the... Is this the pen? Oh, okay. Goodness. Oh, what a nice sheep. I followed you all the way to its home. It wasn't very far. <laughs> Always following your stomach, aren't you, little guy? Hee <laughs> hee. My sons were just like that. Don't you think it looks lonely? Maybe that's why it left. I'm going to keep it company, don't worry. But maybe... Well, if you found another stray sheep, you could bring it back here? They could entertain each other. Well, if it is not too convenient for you. Oh, I'm Alice, by the way. Pretty nice meeting you! I know where we can find two sheep, in fact. Mm hmm. Uh, but I guess first I'll go back to that place that I skipped over. Oh my gosh. What is this? What? We're seeing so much. We must go back first. We're progressing! Can we surpass at least 10%? <laughs> Look at this! Rice seeds! And tea seeds! Let's grow some rice. Mystery seed, veggie seeds, and lettuce seed. I'm gonna make some new food. But also, going back to the subject of Anime Expo. Hmm. I have been going to Anime Expo for a very long time. <laughs> Since I was a wee little fluffy baby otter. Because <laughs> it's pretty local to Float Harbor. And over the years I've gone from just going as an attendee to like just hanging out in the area with friends and not actually going to the con itself. I've done Artist Alley. And as of very recently now, I'm, I've been working in the exhibit hall. So this otter has been moving on up. Slowly but surely. What I love about spitting is the talent you need. You know? It takes real skill to find a target aim and hit a bullseye. That's skill and raw talent right there. I just love that I'm good at something. Ew. I could spit- what's with- what's with you guys? I could spit off tall buildings forever, on the off chance that I might hit someone right in the head. That's nasty. I seem to never run out of spit. <laughs> this small bridge isn't very high up, and nobody ever swims down there. Still, it's pretty satisfying to spit. I'm fully equipped. I've got my mouth. <laughs> I've got my bottle of water. I'm ready and I've got the spirit to do it for years. That's nasty. You guys are nasty. <laughs> More oak trees. Soon enough you'll own Anime Expo. That's right. Someday. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll be... Yeah, I'll be like Mufasa and Simba overlooking all the Anime Expo crowds, like on the third floor. To like, look, my son, everything the light touches is yours. Wow, berries. A lot of them. Strawberry bitty. Strawberry bitty bitty.
Oops. No. Some copper ore. And that's it. else here. Actually, oh no, I can't go down from here. Oh, there's a chest up there. How do I get up there? Yeah. I think we have to go back to um, Hummingburg. Yeah. Oh my gosh, excuse me. I think we have to go back to Hummingburg and uh, check out the little, um, that's a big spirit orb thing. Maybe we'll get like another, another third jump, triple jump. But that is quite a, quite a trip over. Look, we, I still know what this is. We're going to find out soon. But let's go back up here. We need sheep. We need this one sheep. And there was another one. The brown one, I think, is uh, here? Or no. That was the first sheep. Where was the... Or was it this one? Maybe it was this one. The brown sheep. Okay, so since it's closer, let's go here first, just to check. Pretty sure this is where the brown sheep is. Uh, how about some... Oh, let's just grow more rice. Eventually we can grow our tea. Water. Hydrate my little plants. And, uh, let's see. Morning. Do I have the materials? Do I have the oak needed? Build. Summer sanctuary. We do! Look at we look at all this material we have. Perfect, finally. Oh, well, let's build. It's quite tall. Um I wanna put it down here, but I have to move. Uh we have to move this up a little. Like this. Right next door! You're welcome. Okay, <clears throat> little sheep. Where are you? There it is. Oh, it's just a white sheep. It used to be brown. Please eat this corn. Now follow me! Meh. Along with the sheep. Oh, so fluffy sheep. Mm. 
Yes. You said such intriguing things about this tour. Well, I just had to try it for myself. And this place, how nice and serene it is. You know what? I feel strangely at home here. As if I'd already walked these woods. Perhaps in another life. <laughs> oh, the sheep was just like, yep, here we go. The sheep is just hanging out. Oh, how wonderful. Incredible, Stella. Wood! Plants! There's even an all-natural room for meditation. You really outdid yourself. Oh well, I'll sleep in that hanging bed. Yes, I'll be back to full health in no time at all. And maybe... Listen, I have a favor to ask you. Oh? Yes? It's become obvious to me that I need to take better care of myself. Let the body listen to the mind. To that end, I need clarity. I need power and energy. Positive minerals are what I'm missing right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Stones and crystals are connected to the world on an elementary level. Just as the moon is dark when hidden from the sun, living beings wither when their telluric link is severed. So, Stella, what do you say? Could you bring me some gems and minerals to fill up my cabinet? Three of them should be enough. And it won't be for nothing, you'll see. I can teach about all of the interesting properties of each one you bring to me. Okay. I do have a, an opal I picked up. Um, do I have anything to sell? I guess I can sell, just, just sell this now. Look at all this stuff I got. Ooh, errands. Whoa, okay. Yes, please give me some. Beads? Nebula fabric. Okay. We got a lot of stuff. Thank you. Now we gotta take the sheep over. Back over here. Because I don't think... Oh, I should have stopped. made a stop at the grab all the materials, but whatever. She probably doesn't want to just hang out on the boat for very long. <laughs> Isn't that right? Can only feed. Can't talk or pet the sheep. Hmm. Whoa. Stream dying for you? Oh no. Oh! They're shooting stars and stuff. Um, I hope my connection's okay. Can't... Well, on OBS it looks okay. Shoot. Ah. I think it's just me. Okay. Well, hopefully it comes back so you don't miss any good stuff. Things seem to be pretty calm. Maybe I should tell you if you have dropped frames or problems connecting. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Dropped frames 140. 0.1%. <laughs> Better internet existence. <laughs> wow, look at the moon. Look at all the stars. I was thinking, when the dragon found me back home, I knew I had to leave. I felt I wouldn't heal unless I left. I didn't know it then, but I needed love. And no- <laughs> yes, a tool! <laughs> And no love was to be found in this accursed place. But in my exile, I met your aunt. I had never seen anyone as joyful as Rose. Filled to the brim with uncontainable life. You remind me a lot of her, Stella. She nursed me back to health, little by little. Without her, well, the dragon would have taken me. Right there, I'm sure of it. And never would have met you. She taught me, not as one normally teaches, but by opening my eyes to what was already within. 
to the rich interior life unquashed by the dragon, unquashed by my father, to the interconnectedness of all things, to the universal love, this immense debt I owe her. Well, maybe that's why I feel the need to teach you. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> I know you want work jobs. Oh wait, sheep. Sheep! Where are you? You must follow me. Come to the boat. Come with me. I hope it will just follow. Sheep. I'm leaving without you, sheep. Oh, there we go. Good. Come meet your brethren. Friend! Good job. You brought a second sheep! Oh, look at them. They'll be so happy together. Oh, they're acting kind of coldly. That's surprising. Well, they just have to get to know each other. I'm sure they'll be best of friends in no time. And they were roommates. As for me, well, it was nice feeling needed. What? You want me to join you on your travels? Oh no. No, no, no. I couldn't possibly impose myself on all of you. Besides, I'm sure there's no room for me. For sure, this island is a little bare, but I'm sure a little house could quit could I'm sure a little house could fit quite nicely here. A little bungalow with nice vines and potted flowers, maybe? With pale tones and a cozy cottage facade. Oh, and green window shades. My, that would be so wonderful. Oh! Sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. No, you go ahead. I'll be just fine here. How- How are you telling me what you want before you even come aboard? Such demands. Uh... Oh, yes. We need three gemstones. We do have a bowl. I think we have citron. Maybe not. Yeah, uh, build a cozy cottage for Alice. Alice seems e eager to join me on my travels, but does not want to bother me. Perhaps she would accept an invitation if I built her some quarters? She described the house very passionately. I suppose we could do that. Just for you. Very steady stream? Oh good. I'm glad it's working out. Now what materials do I need for... Oh. Alice's cottage. We need iron. Comfortable... Blah, 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 blah. Comfortable place for Alice to unwind. Okay, well at least we have everything else. Let's uh Ooh. We gotta go to Hummingburg. Hummingburg. To grab another sheep. Or maybe not. It didn't seem like they wanted another. They just said the two sheep that were there just need to become friends. Maybe we should just move on to the next place. Oh, little creature. Looking at the door. He's looking at the door. Woof. I think once the stream ends, I'm gonna... Oh. Yeah, he... <laughs> little creature wants out. Little creature. And decisive creature strikes again. Yeah, you, you already had your chance to go down. Oh, here we go. More... More shooting stars, but yet. Yeah. Yep. Yes, creature. Little creature. I don't think I have the correct spirit on my boat to 
interact with this, like, shooting star thing yet. Oh, he went back into his bed. He doesn't know what he wants. Hmm. Seki query discovered. It's time to mine. Children yearn for the mines. Creature be like me when I'm trying to figure out what to eat. Yeah, walking back and forth, opening the fridge multiple times even though the food is still the same. I get ya. Well, the quarry. Look at this. Wonder what kind of what kind of stuff we're gonna find in here. I think I'm supposed to train that guy over there. I really don't feel like it. I've been really tired over the past week or so. I can't sleep at night. Let's just hope he gets the hang of the job without my help. <laughs> Oops. Some slate. Are you the person that needs to be trained? It's my first day on the job. I have no idea what I'm doing. No one is training me. This, the place is falling apart. Well, I should hope not. I would not like to be stuck in here. Wait. What is this? Hmm. I can't think we have to come back here when we learn something new. So maybe I came a little too early. spirits. Alright, you got to get it together, Gregory. This is your day. Today is all about digging. Any problems you have, you leave at the door. This is a new day. Big breath. Yeah, that's right, Gregory. You got this. Whoa. Whoa, secret. An amethyst and a miniature diorama. Hmm. My manager is really stressed out. He told me to be quiet today. I shouldn't even be talking to you. Hmm. Management is coming today. I better make a good impression. I've been practicing my business space and all. Hopefully they notice me in all this darkness. From this mine to the boardroom. Moving on up. wonder what kind of business this is. Whoops. Lit too long. Yippee! Uh. Okay. Hmm. Oh. 
When you don't see the sun, you can imagine it's always noon. That's what my boss says at meetings. They're just letting a little child take all their oars. Mushrooms? Some cave mushrooms. This thing I haven't figured out how to use yet. I don't think I can get up there just yet. Hmm. Oof. Oh, haha. <laughs> Thought you could hide from me. Mm. Okay. Now I'll get up here. Oh, there's some mushrooms over here. Look at that. Okay. Some sleepies. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, another dragon. And oh, there's pork up there, finally. Her froggy uncle can have some pork. His pork chops. Oh, what's this? A lighthouse! Do you want to see? Uh, but I think we're missing some stuff. <sighs> Though it would take a long time to go back. Maybe just keep exploring this area until we've run out of things to do. Oh my god, it's been so long since he asked for pork chops I almost forgot. Yeah, he's been he's been bringing it up like every single time, so I think we're just gonna get that over with until we hit another roadblock and then we have to travel back for the upgrade. Rice! Wow! We have rice! Oopsies. Whoa! Who are you? What are you? What is this? Huh? No, come back! What was that? It was a little guy. Only one lettuce. Hmm. Hmm. We're almost there. Mm. 
we don't go, I discovered. Yay! These rocks are very, very round. The word moist should be outlawed. I'm sure there are a lot of people who would agree with that sentiment. <sighs> Just... How do I get up there? I want... Please give to me. <clears throat> Where is my brother? He should be here. Are you his brother? Hello to you too. Nope. Oh? Oh? Anything up here? Nope. Just. Hmm. <laughs> there needs to be enforced to be used more. I need moisture. Now, where could it be? Oh, what impeccable timing. I am in dire need of assistance. I can tell from your friendly and familiar face that you are undoubtedly the helpful type. Ah, I see. Listen, I'm looking to complete the set of five traditional woodprints. They date from the Ushiro period and as such are invaluable. I've found four of them, but alas, the last one eludes me. I'm certain it is in this very village. Furthermore, I am absolutely positive that it was recently in the possession of the local shopkeeper, Theodore. But he refuses to even acknowledge his existence. What an irksome little man. Raccoon. Tanuki. Whatever he is. With your help. Yes, with that sweet little smile of yours. And generally non-threatening attitude. Well, I'm sure you can schmooze your way into acquiring that last precious piece. That would be the last missing piece of the slippery puzzle. Well, go ahead, Skipper. I can't wait. Hehe, <laughs> hoo hoo. No, this is locked. The tour will come in soon. I'll be calling out when I'm ready. Okay, well. Where is that child? I've been looking for him all over. He's been acting all sorts of strange. I think he must have eaten a bad fruit or something. If you see him, tell him his mother is looking for him. Don't mention that I'm extremely mad. What? No, nothing in here. Okay, where's the shop? There's a ladder here. But nothing up here. Oh. Hello. You're here again. Hello to you too. Alright, you. Ooh, pork and apple seeds. Oh, you don't have the thing. <laughs> I forgot he has this cute little voice. Well, hello there, customer. Is our catalog not to your satisfaction? Are you interested in some specialized items? Oh, a wood print, you say? Yes, yes, I know it. It sat in my special stock for an eternity, and then, suddenly, everyone was asking for it. At first, it was this pedantic person, very rude. And worse, they were haggling on everything. I didn't even tell them of the print. Gave them some junk instead. And then later, this giant walrus lady came in and demanded that I sell it to her. The thought crossed my mind to start a bidding war. But she offered me some serious coin for it. That lady, let me tell you, she was L-O-A-D-E-D. -E anyway, that's all I know about it. I can't help you with your- with, I can't help with the print, but feel free to browse my wares. Hmm. Okay, so we're looking for a lady. But let's also buy some pork. I don't know how many we eat, ten? Seems like that's a good amount. Uh... Okay. So you just gotta keep talking to people. Ooh! Glide! While in the air, hold A to glide. Oh, we need one more. 
can't get it yet. Eventually we will be able to glide. Oh, I thought he was going to sell us some weed. No, thank you. I don't want to buy your magazine subscription or whatever you're selling. You don't want my weed? Ooh. How did we get up there? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so... Uh -huh. Ah, you're back. Did you manage to get the missing print? No. No, it was already sold? But how? Wait, is there a competing art collector roaming about? A walrus lady, you uh -huh. say? Hmm, of course. Of course it was her. Oh, that horrid woman. That dim-witted, egotistic, patronizing charlatan. She calls herself the Collector, if you can believe it. She doesn't even collect anything! Whoa. Oh, I'm sure she bought the print only to spite me. I should have never told her about my collection. <laughs> Whoa! Watch your mouth, that ugly ass sack face. Well, I'm not one to wave away competition. The ugly witch is in hiding. In hiding from you! I don't specifically know why, but the news of a new spirit fair made her skitter away like a puny cockroach. How fitting. Yes, yes, you're the spirit fair. Tell me something I don't know. She should have known better than to tell me the location of her hideout, though. She's hiding at these coordinates. One negative 150, 150. Pay her a visit, would you? And when you see her, show her this figurine. She'll know. Believe me, she'll know. This? Oh, do not worry, it's just some junk Theodore gave me. We have some competition happening here. Never know the greatness of Tankush. <laughs> now we gotta find this walrus lady. Mm. Away! Let's see. Ooh -hoo. Whoa, fish! What is this? Big ol' fish. Okay, what's 1, 150, 150? 132, 120, 170, 162, 1, negative 1. We're getting negative. Uh. It's a negative 150. Nope. Uh, wait. No. Wait, 150? Really? How am I gonna... Okay, that is really far. I don't think we can go there yet. <laughs> can't even go to... Oh, there. Wait, 150. It's right here. So then... Negative 150. It's right here. It's right here. We can't go there yet. We need to break the ice. Um, so in this case, I think we should check this place out and then go back to Hummingbird. That seems like a good plan. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Love that he's quoting Selena Gomez. As he should. Oh, we can cook something with all the rice. I forgot. More tea, please. Oh, is that little... That really pulley guy is gonna come up again. Maybe? Where is he? You! What are you? What 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 do I do here? What? No, I okay. Daffodil. <laughs> you are hungry. 
Oh, yes, pork. We have the pork. We can make pork chops, finally. <clears throat> Also, like to get back to playing some Ouija's Mansion eventually. Hmm. <sighs> Ouija. It's gonna be Ouija time soon. I know he's only saved a single toad. We haven't even gotten the other ones. Or Peach or Mario. Hmm. Ma 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 Mario. Mario. Let me get a squid, please. A squid. Another soul. Dang it. Really should play one of the Luigi's Mansion sometimes. You should! They're good games, they're fun. We made it. Hikarishima Lighthouse discovered. Let's go take a look see. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're here again. Listen, there's no trouble. I heard what you and your friend did to my colleague. Wait, you're not all the same little raccoon guy. I don't need the stress. Selling goods is a hard profession. My prices will always reflect your brand loyalty towards Raccoon Inc. Oh, cherries! I want cherries. And an opal. I think I already have opals though. But I will take these cherries. Hmm. Oh, hello. I like getting some sun here. Um, sorry to tell you, the sun is not out right now. It's peaceful. Sometimes it isn't. Especially when people love to jump on this umbrella. They jump up and down, up and down. They love to bounce on the thing. It drives me out of my skin. Nothing else I can do but complain, I suppose. Well, how can you blame them? How? How? Stop that. <laughs> what are you doing? You're ruining this very pleasant day. It's not the day, though. Stop that bouncing right this instant. You just can't come here and bounce like some kind of overexcited youth. You're stressing me out. You need to calm down. Here's some free advice. You'll never be able to get up there. I've seen people with better legs than you try. Fine. If you really want to, you'll need two things. First up, a good attitude. <laughs> that just applies to life in general. Everything is in that is in the attitude. Then, you need to visualize bouncing higher. Or, I don't know, learn a new skill. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You'll learn how to bounce someday. I just know that you can't get up there without a combination of things. A calm and cool attitude and more leg power. Now stop it. I'm just a simple person who doesn't like it when people jump on my umbrella. There's a lot of dialogue for like, <laughs> one little thing. Okay, I got it. I understand. I know, cherries are so expensive, and I only got five bags. Ooh. Stretch a little bit. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. 
<sighs> ding ding. Ring 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 ring. Banana phone. Ding tong ding dong ding. Banana phone. Whoops. I wonder if there's bananas here in this game somewhere. E. Do some carrots. Chops. A casserole? No. I don't want a casserole, I just wanted pork chops. How does putting pork chops in rice make a casserole? <laughs> Crow's End Inc. And Risateno Meadows. Well, obviously we're gonna go there first. Every time I keep making plans, then new stuff pops up and I'm like, just kidding. We're gonna go see the new thing first. Morning then. Listen, um... Your, your pork chop is on the way. I don't like that the lettuce seeds only give you a single lettuce. It's crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. No! Put it back. Put it back. Okay, quickly. Get out of here. Eee. LEP accessing core memories. Yes. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh no, you're so sad. So sorry. You can have... Mm. Uh, hey, where are you going? I was trying to feed you. Oh, okay. I guess you'll just have regular berries. Uncooked berries. Jusiteno Meadow is discovered! Yippee! Hmm? 
need some oak. Yeah, look at all these spirits. Oh wow, I've heard of this rock from a friend. He said that if you stand next to it for like a week, you can become a seagull or something. I don't get it. I've been here for days. Everyone here says that they feel something. I don't feel anything. What gives? I shouldn't have quit my job. Oh brother. When others aren't looking, I like to lick the rock. It helps me concentrate. Also, it's a little bit salty. Strawberries. There's oak tree. That. Mushrooms. Which I don't think I've made them a meal with the mushrooms yet. You should cook something. <clears throat> Once those pork chops are done. Mm -hmm. oh, this game's art is just so pretty. something here. I don't know if we can actually cross through it, but it's not like this. So maybe we can take a chance, see what happens. Let's see if we'll get blocked by some sort of upgrade that we don't have yet. Truly comfy core. <laughs> Man, these tea leaves are taking a long time to grow. Mm. Ooh, got some leeks too. This diorama. Oh. We can't go through. Oh, it's fog. It's foggy. Alrighty then. Looks like we need something else. Mm. In that case, guess yeah, I go back here. Hummingbird. All the way to Hummingbird. Some more materials and water or plants. Look at all the soak logs. Collected so many. Yes. <laughs> I hear your yells. Gosh, it's gonna take forever to get through 46 logs.
We're gonna have so many folk, uh, planks. I don't even know what we're gonna do with all of them. Oh, that was not a good one. Nice. Mm. I think I'll have some more food after this. We have some grapes downstairs. Who's, who's playing music for the plants? I can hear it. While I'm taking my sweet time making all this wood. Pork chops are done. To grab that once we're done with all this wood. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, that little bit. It was just pretty much perfect. Speaking of pork, I've been having a little bit of pork myself since I came home. Apparently, whoa, whoa, whoa. what's happening? Events! Okay. I still have ten more logs. Oh, okay, I can just stop. What's up? Once again. Dragon is back. Oh, okay. Okay, we will help the dragon. Come here, Mr. Dragon. Whee! Are you that hurt? Oh. oh. Yay. You're free. Incredible. 
It looks relieved, doesn't it? Wonder what it means. If we already crossed the dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However, I mightn't feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Goodbye, dragon. Pork chops. Look at all those pork chops. Where are you? I hear you. But I don't see you. Oh, he went to sleep. Well, lucky him. He's gonna get some pork chops in the morning. Little creatures. <laughs> Laying in front of the door. <clears throat> bing bing. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Good morning. I have. Pork chop for you. Pork chops. What? Pork chops? Oh boy, oh, oh my god. <laughs> I am so excited. They look so damn tasty. And they are. Sprout, you're a miracle, you know that? Oh, this is just so good. Huh, now I just feel a bit guilty. And I'm sorry you're running all these culinary errands for me. Look, there was this kid at work. Craig? We used to have these long and tight union negotiations. All-nighters. Everyone would be at a standstill. Everyone was so hungry and every restaurant was closed. I would send Craig on these endless 24-hour grocery store crawls for me. I'd always ask for these impossible gits, saffron, sumac, and even anise. It was something like 2 o'clock in the morning. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world. A meal for everyone! On both sides of the table. To calm heads and to appease stomachs. The first part didn't always work, but everyone was always well fed. I don't know how he did it, but Craig would always find everything on my list. I would joke with him that he would have to break into people's houses to get this stuff. Jeez, maybe he did. I don't know how he did it, Sprout. He made it taste like home. Here's to you and Craig. Alrighty. Yes. Is that rain time? What's happening? I got a surprise! I was hungry, as usual, so I did something about it. <laughs> More berries! Strawberry- well, that's a lot of strawberries! How'd you pick so many? Look at these tea leaves, only two! Goodness, these took forever to grow, too.
I'm getting so many. Oh, shoot. Oh! Oh, shoot. Ah. Oh, no. It's going so fast. Okay. We got quite a bit. Oh, it keeps moving on. Let's see. Ooh. Uh, I'm oh, just kidding. Um. Let's give some turnips. Keep floating on. You got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anything else I can build? I don't have a smeltier ores and ingots. Oh, we haven't built this yet. Um sawmill we have a field. Um This is different from Yeah, a garden. I see this is probably for Oh, cereal seeds. We don't have cereal. I could use this though. This is gigantic. Okay, we need to upgrade. We gotta get a bigger boat. We are back. Hello, hummingbird. Oh, okay, I guess this is just cool. The building, as the building aspect of this game is so cool. Yeah, it's very neat. So it turns out we just gotta get the spirit on board, I think. Cuz, uh. It doesn't look like I can get a new. Um, new power here. But I think it's probably better we came down this way anyways, so we can check into the upgrades for the boat. Maybe I have the materials now? Though I don't think I have the money. I kind of want funds. But hopefully that's not a problem. Um, okay, this way. Yeah, I like being able to edit around our boat and the facilities. Look at him go! Oh, he's in a good mood. <laughs> A lot. Super happy. Good. I want to learn to play a recorder like that. You better do the little dance too. I want to see it. You go crazy. Quick. And it's a shoe. <laughs> You'll go crazy. <laughs> um, uh, limestone. Coffee beans, corn seed, turnip, empty bottle, maple log. There we go. 
go, a muscle, an empty shell. Yeah, crazy. You'll be a crazy frog. And he's blue too. He just needs the little goggles. <laughs> nope. Please scooch over so I can go in. Thank you. Maybe turnips. Yes, I'm so hungry. Didn't you just eat? Whoa, okay, wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back, come back. Come back. No, stop. Where are you going? I'm so hungry, I know. I know I've been asking for a lot lately. I've got a big appetite. It goes well with my love of food. But you know what I would go for? A bucket. A bucket of fried chicken. That would bring me back, because the best kind of food comes in buckets. Cooking sounds hard sometimes. In this case, it's pretty easy. Where am I gonna get chicken? It took forever to find the pork. <laughs> you request fishing trip. Oh, look at her. She's she's helping our tea grow. Where are we going to get a bucket? That's a good question. Fishing trip. Give Atul <laughs> some fried chicken. Uh, yes. Let's see if our boat can handle another upgrade. Oh, oh! I once had a friend who cut his own toe. He had a new one made of rubber. He was called Roberto. Get it? I think we heard this joke last time. But I appreciate the joke nonetheless. Oh, we got the materials. Wonderful. Uh, we don't have this. Um, I am broke. Cannot do that yet. You know, we still need the iron ingots, but now that we've upgraded... Oh no, just- oh! A chicken coop! Oh no, we <laughs> can make fried chicken. A lounge and a crusher. Okay, so I need more money to upgrade, unless I just move some stuff around. And this we will get once I make room for the... the... whatever it is. Woohoo, a windmill to make flour. An orchard for fruit. Okay, but we need nebula thread. And a sheep corral. We can actually have sheep too on here. Um Oh, so the thing we needed was the foundry. But I have to move some stuff around because I don't have enough money. Or maybe... Let's see, what can I sell? The... They'll get Asphodel to Gwen Spirit Flower. It can be used to upgrade your boat. Really? How? Oh, I got tea and coffee. Hmm... Oh yeah, we got some citron, some amethyst, an opal. But we're running out of glass bottles. Lots of wood. Don't 
have... Okay, we have a shoe. The mark of a passage paid in full. I see. Hmm. Just throw the spirit flower on the floor and see what happens. Yeah, why not? We haven't had any mail either. Um... Maybe... Okay, maybe just for a little bit we'll get rid of the guest house, because I think they have their own rooms. And nobody else is using it. Oh, it's unsalvageable. Just kidding. We cannot get rid of it. Can get rid of this stuff, though. Unsalvageable. I see. Hmm. Okay, then that means we just have to find more things to sell. But also, we can call it here. It's been three hours. It's a good stream. We made a lot of progress this time around, I think. Uh, hopefully we passed 10%. <laughs> but thanks for coming, you guys. Sorry, the energy winded down by the last half. Because, you know, I, I didn't have too much to say. Or I, I'd rather purposefully not have a lot to say now, so that way I don't spoil the vlog. Our progress on long stream felt like a chill time. Oh good, I'm glad. <laughs> Even before 9%, I would cry. Like, just how big is this game? <laughs> oh, thank you for coming, Keiko. Oh good. Um, I think next week... Um, I'll decide on whether or not we're gonna do the demo of that other game, or if we're gonna do Luigi's Mansion. I kinda wanna do Luigi. I'll give Spiritfarer a little break. And then by the time we come back to Spiritfarer again, I'll be like, I have no idea what's going on. EP Calico is understandable, yeah. I know, even with the whole rest day yesterday, I'm still like, I'm tired. I go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> oh. Work. But thank you for joining, everyone. Oh, maybe... Yeah, maybe I can find some time to figure out what's wrong with chat, finally. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, thanks for coming. Oh, it takes days to recover nowadays. Yeah, I'm... I'm getting to that age. Um, I'm an old daughter. Oh. But I'm glad you guys could enjoy the, the stream regardless. I'm not the spry otter anymore. I know. I think it's, you know, a lack of, a lack of sleep and all the adrenaline rush from working at AX. That's what AX does to you. Very chill, very comfy. Yeah, glad you can finally make it ex into existence. You finally made a spirit fairy stream, and I would say they're not too different from this one for sure. Like, same kind of vibes. Very chill, just a lot of multitasking and just talking about whatever comes to mind. Yeah, finally! Oh! You were drawing? Oh, you have to show me later. <laughs> Yeah, good night, everybody, and I'll see you all next time, next week, next Thursday. So see you then. Bye bye. Let's see. Good night. See ya.